Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. If you notice that now uh, the new office.com uh, homepage has changed and we have actually the new search and the chat that we can ask all kinds of things. We have the agents that we created or add by Microsoft and uh, we have the notebook and we have now this create that lets you create all kinds of images and let's go through uh, them uh, quickly. Actually, I want to show you a specific one. So here you can create an image, you can uh, choose a brand, you can choose a style, as you can see here. Uh, if you choose on any of these examples, you can actually, actually see the prompt, you can edit it. Uh, but what I want to show you, you can create an image, a poster, a video. Uh, you can create a form for Microsoft Forms. You can create a banner. You can edit an image. And if you click on more, you have here a new uh, category, which is infograph. Now, as you can see here, actually, you have here all kinds of designs. They look really, really nice. You know, it actually looks like Canva or other, um, maybe the SharePoint designer. So what we'll do is actually, I can go here and uh, write a description. Or I actually can take one of the designs I have here and maybe I'll look for something that looks um, something I like. Um, let me see. Now, uh, you need to notice that there's different types. You have a goal in this, you have a timeline, and you have a comparison. And uh, each one of these uh, looks differently. And actually, I'm looking for one of the examples uh, I like. So I'll choose actually this one. So what I can do is here, you see, um, I can describe here the title. I can put here the difference and put two topics. And I can describe how I want it to be uh, described. Now, in addition, I can add a reference to a, a document in order that it will provide the correct information. Now, so actually I took this and I will just edit what I wanted. So I said an infograph that reads SharePoint site versus OneDrive, showing the difference between SharePoint site and OneDrive by listing them by complexity, goals, behaviors, pros and cons, and best practice. So I just adjusted it. And if I had a document I could reference, now I'll Click on compare. Now you'll see I'll get all kinds of um, recommendations. And uh, you will see that it will be created. And uh, then we can actually edit it or we can export it. So just to go, let's go to this one. I'll click on edit. And now I will see it in this template. And I can come here, I can change the font, I can change the text. I can do anything I want. So it's editable. And you see, I can do lots of things here. Assuming I like it, what I can do is to go to download. And here you see, I have multiple ways to export it. I can save it as a picture, PNG, JPEG, PDF. Um, even a movie, and even a PowerPoint. So let's see how it looks in the PowerPoint. So it has been downloaded. Now, if I open it, you will see actually that I have this as a PowerPoint slide where I can edit and change it. Actually, here I see it is a bit... Uh, but if we look at the content, I, these are the parameters on things that I actually wanted to 
give uh, information. So the goal of SharePoint is to enhance collaboration and management. Compared to OneDrive is to store personal files. So that's totally correct. And we see here the pros and cons. So the cons of SharePoint is can be overwhelming for small teams. And um, for OneDrive, it's limited to for collaboration and not suitable for Teams documents. Uh, here we also have the best practice that says um, SharePoint is for team projects and OneDrive is for personal files. So this, this is amazing. I mean, I really, really like it. Now, um, let's go back and see if we can uh, see a different layout. So in this case, we see, if we go here, it designed it differently. So for SharePoint sites, it set the goals and with the information and the goals on OneDrive looks like that. Now here you can change the, anything here, the description, the brand and the type, and actually it can update it. So if we go back to this one, let's say, let's see how this looks. And this is something I would never get to if I would try even uh, by myself. You can even adjust the size as you can see. Uh, let's take this and change it to a goals and list. So I will click on update and now it should adjust the image and show it differently. So let's see how long it takes and uh, hopefully it can provide something um, according to what I wanted. So here I have uh, an example. So it shows SharePoint and Sites uh, OneDrive. Here I think it's less, uh, less good. Uh, but in different cases, it, it would maybe make sense. Um, so again, uh, this is something you can test and uh, there's so many uh, ideas and all you need to do is just to click on an example, change what you want or totally edit the prompt and this is what's going to come out. So hopefully you learn something new. Uh, again, I go to create and click on more and then I would have this design an infograph. In addition, you see all other uh, possibilities. Even you can create a brand kit if you like. Uh, it's possible to do it for yourself or maybe for the whole company. So hopefully you like this example and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.